got to say that this is a very impressive looking plane actually. Uh, I've always been attracted to lines of design for planes and cars and household objects. And it's a kit built aeroplane. This looks really good. Ian Mills owns this. It's a kit built plane, is it then, Ian? Correct, yes. Yeah. If you think all the vans are VE6. There's a few at the airfield, not just not just this one. Right. It is, it, it, I'm right, aren't I? Its lines are beautiful, aren't they? It looks. Oh like, yeah. Cool, cool. It looks the part. Well, they're known for the design. All his designs, uh, vans, are all classic-looking aeroplanes, sport aeroplanes like this. Let's just move over to it then, and I'll ask you uh, while we're having a little look at it again. Um, what was it about learning to fly that attracted you then? Why, why did you want to do it? I was always interested in machines. It was actually somebody else's suggestion, uh, my mother's as it happened. So I came here in 1984 and did a trial lesson. And, uh, well, trial lesson, first flight. And uh, from then on I knew that's what I wanted to do. How easy was it to learn to fly? I was a car mechanic at the time, uh, so it wasn't difficult for me to do it. So I would say reasonably easy. If you can drive, you can fly. Right. I mean, stupid question. I don't mean it as that, but what's the main difference between driving and flying? Is there one particular thing uh, in terms of control? <laughs> I know you're up in it, here. It's in three dimensions where a car isn't, you know, uh, it, it's up and down, left and right. Right. And side to side. That's the main difference. More fluid, I would have thought. Correct, yeah. 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 So, what, I mean, is it an expensive hobby then? It seems that when you learn, uh, the most sensible thing to do once you've achieved a private pilot's license is to get a share in an aircraft with other people. Um, and that generally brings the cost down by a huge amount. Yeah, that's uh, a bit like owning one leg of a racehorse, isn't it? I think boat yeah. syndicates are the best example. Yeah. Boats are expensive but syndicated. Not everybody wants to use them at the same time. So syndicate a boat and it becomes affordable. Syndicate an aircraft and it becomes affordable. And when you're up in this little beauty then, what do you feel? What's that? What, you know, what's what, what drives you to go up and up again and again? It's very difficult for me to answer that. But for this particular aeroplane, uh, because of its visibility and its manoeuvrability and speed, it's just a feeling of complete freedom. And bearing in mind, I do this job for a living now. Uh, uh, it's a feeling I don't quite get that feeling at work. That's much more of a mechanical task. So you're a part. You're a commercial pilot. Yes. Yeah. All oh, right. I didn't realise that. Yeah. Wow. So that uh, becoming a commercial pilot stemmed from learning yeah. to, to. Wow. Yeah. Well, of course, you'll have had a difficult period recently, won't you? Being a pilot, you won't have been that busy. <laughs> um. No, of course I'm on furlough still, but quite well supported, which is. Uh, oh, I'm glad about that. Helpful. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, uh, if you're a commercial pilot, then do you get? I mean, isn't it a bit like you know the thrill of a mini versus driving a juggernaut? If you can describe it as a buzz, you get the same sense of satisfaction from all of it. It doesn't really matter what it is. Yeah. For me, doing it for a hobby as well as a living, I, I really enjoy this. This is great. You know, but I also enjoy work and I miss doing it at the moment. Being in that would be incredible. Is it two seater? Is it? Or it is. Three? Yeah, two yeah. seats. Yeah. Well, I won't ask if I can come up with you because I know that's complicated. But I wish I could. Ian, thanks very much for talking to us. No, no problem.